Y254. Imagine. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now before we went on our break, we were having a conversation about social media etiquette. And one of our experts has just told us we now term it as netiquette. So I want us to have a conversation about wona communicator je social media. And vitu gani wazi na kubo. Ukiyo na mta andika comment, sijua me post video. Nini wena kubo about social media and the way people communicate on these platforms go on our pages which is at y254 on Facebook Twitter and X and we will sample some of those comments as we get back uh, sorry <laughs> as we proceed with the conversation so I'm um, joining me is Chebet Cheres a digital content creator and trophy Kiprono a communications expert so I think to may tackle the professional aspect extensively we have noted that you have to communicate in the right tone, the right words. You have to understand corporate jargon. Na lazima uende na brand ya yo company. Awezi anza communicate from your own tone and your own brand and identity. You have to understand the brand identity of the company that you're working under. Now let's get into the interpersonal communication. Because you see, qua professional, people sometimes try. But the interpersonal, especially on social media, the fact that right now I can DM Rihanna, sometimes people feel like I've seen a post about someone who actually uses Drake's DMs as come up personal file. Yake. So anytime she's venting about work and then on a record voice note, kwa DM ya Drake, who is a socialite, he's an international musician. So I wonder, Chebet, where kwa as a digital content creator, have you gotten some DMs that ulikona wonder? Yes, this might be a fan. This might be a person who appreciates my craft, but the delivery, but the familiarity. Because una zoto na nanga ni kama wana kujua. Jume nimesha ku follow social media. I know you. Have you experienced that before? Um, okay, like I said, I've not experienced many negative comments or DMs, but uh, experiencing funny DMs and just cra outright crazy for sure so many times i i want us to to, to treat social media like someone's house Bec just because it's their social media platform doesn't mean you can just walk in there because you don't walk into people's houses and just you, 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 the cops will come for you you know yeah. you will go in so if if we can do that for people's houses their social media is the same walk in with respect walk in knock fast <laughs> you know yeah. so i think if we if we always have that in mind, it'll really help us. So about people who comment crazy things on people's maybe not mine specifically, but like there's just people who just you know, who have given you the permission to. You you don't know me first of all in person. And even in fact it's always the ones who don't know you that comment crazy things, they speak so crazily, they they come there with you know and, and, and you know, like you said, because it's social media people feel like like they they've, they've known you. Yeah. So they can come there and I don't think the issue is us talking and feeling like we've known you know like celebrities our influencers we love them we go to their dms we you know mm. but now the issue is um just how you're communicating really it's just are you do you have respect do you have respect for this is my space much as it's a social space it's still my space yeah. <laughs> it's my social space yeah. you know so i think let's bear that in mind always so that when you're walking into somebody's dm much as you you want to say all these things, say it in a manner. Deliver, you know, you know, like how we learned in school that it's not just about the message; it's also the delivery of the message. They are the same; they are twins. People always think it's just, oh, I said what I had to say because it was the truth. Uh uh no, no, no. <laughs> you say what you have to say, but in a way that, like she said, doesn't offend the listener. And then, just it's just respectful. Uh, communication really that that really goes along because now if I and then sometimes people feel like this is the thing I've, so, I've noticed on social media when you comment something negative on a celebs thing or an influencer create or whatever because you know that negative comment will catch their attention faster than the positive one please don't be one of those people even if it takes you 15 years for them to notice your positive comments that 15 years will come but now people go for the crazy comments because they know because they know it will trigger, you know, uh, it will trigger that 
person to come and be like to now defend themselves or to like insult and be like you see i told you guys now now she's responding to me or now he's responding to me let's not be those people because just because we don't want to wait for you know they'll see positive comments like a million of them and they won't say anything but then they will see that one negative comment and go to it so i think people get get a high from that yeah. which is which is very wrong there's no yeah. need for that yeah if they don't notice you can go to another celeb or your favorite person who will you know and then comment way. nice things one day your nice things will add up together and yeah, yeah. and yeah. i think I, I love the way you've really brought that out mm -hmm. because truly first of all people assume it's my opinion i have a right to my opinion and it's so it's in simu yangu sinimindo nime post na account yangu but you're posting on someone else's account yeah. i also like the fact that you you gave the analogy of it's a house mm. yes it might be an open house mnakuza kutembea mm. but it's not like come chafua my clothes use my utensils break my plates and then leave casually the restaurants and bars are open for all you know <laughs> try walking in there and you will see you will see what will happen to treat social so media true. like that okay, it's people, open people always feel like the fact that you've even tied that together with people feel the need to post negative comments for the laughs yes especially wa kenya that is one thing i've really noticed mm -hmm. kenyans will they may not even have something to say mm -hmm. but because they feel like you know i'm bored i'm trying to make people laugh i'm trying to get followers i'm trying to get the attention of people mm -hmm. let me comment something funny or let me comment something that is rude or negative mm -hmm. but that happens a lot mm -hmm. especially with big brands and people who you know they are famous and mm -hmm. popular and well known yeah. because people the followers feel entitled to i follow you i've been following you for 3 4 years mm -hmm. so i know you but then you don't really know someone mm -hmm. trophy how do you communicate with perhaps i have someone i idolize mm -hmm. and i really love them and i want to get the attention i've been trying for the past three years attention ajai haingiani dm has is so many the comments are not being liked or responded to and i opt for the negative feedback sometimes it's also because of the pressure that we feel from this person mm -hmm. you feel like they are constantly living their very best life mm -hmm. but i'm here struggling so let me just make this one negative comment because the way people assume ladies were successful living the, i you see the glamorous lives it's because of a man so i go and comment acha kama sio chali yake hangekuwa hapo how do i react to that how do i as a as a viewer who wants to comment on my maybe and i i don't know some celebrity some socialites page but i feel it's coming from a negative point how do i control that such that ni jambe hapana it's not necessary let me just leave positive vibes or just let me walk away how do i do that by first asking yourself am i projecting my insecurities on this person most oftenly when we disagree with someone we're doing it because this person has the balls to to post this and one thing and personally i don't have problem with criticism because i understand the fact that i don't know everything in life so as long as you criticize you critique what i'm saying respectfully i in fact i'm okay with that because i don't know everything so you are okay you disagree with what i'm posting okay but now where we draw the lines is name calling name calling abusing people and all that and a lot of people don't know how to disagree without being disagreeable but they like some letters agree to disagree they start calling you names especially when you're a woman you yeah. just have to understand some names you'll be called here and there here and there and often when you go to these comments these negative comments you'll notice that they're doing that purposely to to get a reaction out of you mm -hmm. they want you to react and i disagree with chebet when she says that people don't know you actually it's always your friends they just use some pseudo accounts some parody accounts because they don't have the balls to face you straight and tell you i don't like you yeah like nobody has to like you because you know if you want everyone to like you then it means you have a kakitu we call like a god complex mm -hmm. you want everyone to agree with you which is there's something wrong but it's okay if chebet disagrees with me respectfully she's like you know what trophy i see your point but i think like we, sh we I, i think on this this way don't say that's very stupid that is idiotic what kind of no it's okay to disagree but disagree respectfully so yeah. what you can do about such negative comments ignore them don't give them the the attention they want just ignore them and you'll often find them coming to the dm they'll be telling oh you're so good you're too good for my posts and my texts they'll come to the dm so you'll notice you're dealing with someone who is not okay mentally yeah mm. and you see sasa vile nimesema disagree respectfully uh -huh. people misuse that term 
-hmm. they'll, they'll write the most unprovoked thought mm -hmm. and finish it with respectfully. respectfully. And that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this, it happens a lot these days. Disagreeing without being disagreeable is actually critiquing the, what has happened, not the person. Mm -hmm. I disagree with your thought about this and this. Don't start saying, oh, you know what, you are ugly. What does ugliness have to do with what I'm posting? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're so sure that you, you're beautiful, what does my ugliness concern you with? So it's an inferiority complex in a way. Yeah. That is why they're doing that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you just have to understand, mm -hmm. as a personality, at a, just as a normal social media user, mm -hmm. if you get negative feedback, mm -hmm. look at it. If it's constructive, pick it up. Mm -hmm. If not, achana nayo. Because mm -hmm. most times it's people projecting. Yeah. Honestly, it's people projecting because they feel envious of the position that you're in. Or they mm -hmm. feel like you're, you're doing so much mm -hmm. and I'm not doing enough. Or mm -hmm. I feel like your life is moving faster than mine. Mm -hmm. When you shouldn't even compare yourself to begin with. Mm -hmm. And now I want to bring us back to, you mentioned that, Shebet, your accounts were private before you made them public. Could you tell us the decision of you opening a social media account and mm -hmm. making them private? Because so many people ask, what's the point of you being on Instagram if you have a private account with like mm -hmm. five, five friends and 500 posts? Mm -hmm. Most people do that these days because they want to maybe maintain some sort of privacy. Mm -hmm. But what was the reason behind you keeping your socials private? Okay. Um, first of all, there's something Trophy has said mm -hmm. about... Um, you know, when people come and comment crazy things mm -hmm. on your... Okay, so one way is ignoring them, but I'm also for, please put people in their place. <laughs> please. If you've got to pay again. Please, because, yeah. you, because you will not come to somebody's house mm -hmm. and then vuruga the house and then steal things and then be like, oh, I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> no, I'm going to get whatever weapon I'm going to get <laughs> or I'm going to call the police and you're going down because... There's no uh, let's because respect is a two is a two way. So you'll not come and comment rubbish on people's pages and then expect to live with your rubbish. No, you you will <laughs> you will collect whatever you came with. You know. Yeah. So I think let's apart from ignoring them, which is obviously the best. But sometimes please put people in their place because people are mannerless out here. People have mm -hmm. social media has made people mannerless. We no That's longer have true. like she said netiquette. Please go study about netiquette. Go study how to comment on people's pages, how to talk to people online, how to interact with people online, how to receive, how to give, those kind of things. Yeah. Anyway, about uh, people who choose to be private and, you know, I've had that comment so many times, why would you be on social media when you're a private user? I don't know what. Yeah. Um, the minute we make my preference or her preference, or your preference, and then we make it, we load that preference over other people. That's what we call prejudice. Yeah. There is no way, if, if somebody wants to come there with their zero followers, please let, they're not bothering you. In fact, they don't e you don't even know them in that moment. They just want to see what's online without having to deal with all that nonsense. Because yeah. being on social media is exchanging energies with people, crazy people, uh, good people, everything you're collecting. It's like a basket of everything. Yeah. So it's not for it's not for everyone. It, not everyone wants to be to be contaminated like that, to be mixed up like that. And you know, by the time you're going from a private user or by the time you're deciding to go full blown open with your account, share your life, you, you're deciding to go down a very dangerous road because you, you want to share, um, you're being very brave. You want to share bits and pieces of you or parts of you or just your life with people yeah. so that so you will get one hand people who resonate with you and they're so grateful you get a whole community that you wouldn't otherwise have in like normal life day-to-day -day living yeah. but then you also get this bunch of miserable people like she said people with insecurities they just want to come and project and it's a very dangerous or rather a very delicate balance if I may call it so yeah. so but by the time you're moving from that to that, it, it takes a lot. And then for me, it's because I wanted to pursue digital content, content creation. Yeah. N uh, there, there are many people who don't want that life. They just want to be to look at funny videos. On yeah, just move look on. at what's yeah. So let's peop let's leave people to do what they want to do. If yeah. you, if they want to be on zero followers, private forever. If you want to come to this side, let people do what, what they, want they want to do. Yeah. I so like what you've said because that is prejudice. I can't mm -hmm. tell you. I want you to have long hair when you personally prefer to have short hair. When it would make sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because that is my preference mm -hmm. and you are your own identity. Mm -hmm. And that is the pr problem that people have because we believe see tuko social media. Sina jua chebet. Naweza mwambia opinion yangu na nafaa kubali because mini follower wake na nimemfollow for so long. 
you know and it's that's not how the world works yes. you have to accept people for who they are <coughs> and move accordingly if you're no longer pleased with maybe the content that someone produces walk away if you're not pleased with what you say you can unfollow you can unfollow imagine you, you don't, can, <laughs> you, don't have you can block you can do so much you can do so much <laughs> yeah. you don't have to. and there's yeah. so much content out there there's so many creators out there yeah. who make it easy for you to get alternatives yes so i want us to go on our social platforms before we continue with this conversation and this is on facebook we have derek dero shaz who says mse kuchukua tu muda yake vizuri kuchomea kabila flani nikupate wewe and uh, the question we were asking is what do you dislike about social media kitu gani ukubo na derek when you mesema that's a very clear comment because that brings an aspect of tribalism and we are trying to move away from that so why would you hide behind a social platform to do that Wamboi Kelvin who says i hate celebs who always post about their families bwana <laughs> Wamboi mbona mtoto wa kifalme says posting naked photos that's also kuna watu wenye wapendi na kuna wenye na follow peace uh, peace cave ke says hakuna kila mtu anaweza ji express venye anadai borake isitumie isitumiwe kama tuli ya kueneza hate speech i like that yeah peace peace cave has said a very very important point you can express yourself bora usitumie as a tool of hate speech mm -hmm. and so many platforms have warnings against that so they will block you and take you down quickly mm -hmm. so let me go back to uh, wamboi kelvin who says i hate celebs who always post about their families bwana now let's bring that up because we have socialite celebrities who post mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. i just woke up i'm eating this ndo nimepanda gari ngo nimevaa ni hii tunaenda huku family yangu wamevaa hivi leo <laughs> there are those people who will give you day to day minute by minute updates of what's going on in their lives how much are we allowed to share on social media trophy kama mimi ni celeb and i'm trying to probably build up my following and as he said people who post their families and perhaps some family oriented and that's the content that I, I want to align myself with or to say me I post so much about hair or nails or makeup but for lozongo ko like eh we are mzidi how do I go about it how much am I allowed to post on social media what makes your soul happy what makes you happy the thing is people need to understand lead live and let live what you feel is okay for you another person does not feel the same we are all different in how we perceive the world that's the basis of communication if you don't like someone that they are posting too much about something and follow block move to the next person the thing is celebrities if people didn't like what socialites are posting they won't be that demand for it yeah yeah there's kuna kuna, kuna lot of demand otherwise these guys won't be wasting their times shooting reality shows what what for if there's no hakuna kitu ya ku make money there is demand for it i think her comment she does not understand this that what you think is right is not what chebek thinks is right what i think is right we're all different yeah yeah just like what chebek has said to bring into context her, whoever disagrees with her you're going to the pits of hell you you will go to the root mwende huko chini for me i would easily disagree but then i would ask myself does that person have the person i'm arguing with does that person have the mental capacity to understand there's something called a different perspective kama hakuna there's no need do i just at a letter ni lete to lete to lete before you know it they start calling your names so the way chebet does things does not mean it's wrong that is her way of doing things yeah the way i do things does not mean i'm right or wrong it is yeah. the way i do things so live and let live that's true mm -hmm. and just unfollow and follow and block. you know you don't have to follow these people mm -hmm. there's so many content there's why, so why many celebs why, why were you following mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. na kama walianza maybe wakiwa single wakapata familia wakaanza ku unfollow oh, imagine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you know and the and truth is careful. why are you here truth. just go 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 you know the problem is sometimes people have an issue when you post your real life and then when you try to fabricate some information or you try to maybe ume plan to say me salon ni plan ni mkia kwa hoteli na this is not my everyday they start saying you know you're living a fake life mm -hmm. so, so where is you know, i feel like follow content creators follow people follow personalities who you align with because yes. you have the option of unfollowing people imagine yeah. you can just follow three people when you're na kubamba na maisha yako imagine itasonga mm -hmm. so creators, mm. 
you understand kwamba there is another side of sharing yeah kwamba kuna the more the moment you expose your life expect some backlash yeah, yeah. so i could see all good there's always the True. other side of everything yeah yeah you give people an opportunity sasa don't mm. expect all good yeah. what i disagree yeah yeah so choose your choose your poison where more to you showing us your life we will question by what happened to your relationship yeah because you brought it up yeah uh, so kuna both sides ya kila kitu yeah. that's true you know, that's and true like saying, i think mm. the most important thing here is mm-hmm. not whether you're sharing or not sharing mm-hmm. it's just that etiquette of mm-hmm. uh, respectfully asking what happened between you and Dave because yeah. i you know mm-hmm. because that there's a big chance you'll be answered you'll be told oh, okay um You, you know, know because we want the public link but then if you yeah. come with your negativity you'll also probably meet people like say people are different you will sometimes you'll even be sued because now you're you're no, encroaching you're, you're a brand or yeah, something and, and you know kusema kweli squeeze they even call them social media in laws what <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah yes yes, yes. it's a whole serious thing because uh-huh. maybe i have followers let's uh-huh. say i have 10k followers uh-huh. and i post my man today Mm-hmm. And we start moving to get Nianze ku post you know he did this mm. we've done this six month anniversary one year anniversary mm-hmm. and then tuachane tuanze people even check your follower list at wali and follow yana who you squeeze this juni and portals. they will ask uh-huh. yeah. so i feel like even as a public figure you have to anticipate things like that it's very true yeah cuz mm-hmm. even if you don't want to really. yeah even yeah. if you don't want to talk about it just say respectfully at this time i'm keeping the 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 yeah. situation private yeah. i will share later on mm-hmm. imagine my shaita songa mbele yeah. mm-hmm. i also want to wrap it up with uh, the conversation about people who post naked photos mm-hmm. that happens a lot these days yeah. Because wow. people know or assume there's going to be a certain following of people mm-hmm. especially ladies mm-hmm. so chebet mm-hmm. tell us because you're a content creator mm-hmm. and you've done very clean content that is directed you have ideas that are product unajua si ati lazima uende ujipost siju na bikini siju wapi ndio upate followers so talk to us about people who post naked photos what do you think should be a guiding factor because kuna watu wengine wako like If Kim Kardashian has posted this, mbona mimi ni si post? And they want to compare themselves with people who've already maybe established their brand or maybe that's their brand identity. Mm-hmm. What do you think about people who post that and then maybe want to change their their brand later on and go in a different direction? Um I think this boils down to everything we've been talking about today. Back to preference. Okay and what is naked like complete nudity or because now bikini is still not naked because yeah. how will you know I have a problem with people who say ah so you this one is wearing uh like undergarments for us you need to cover up how will the undergarments companies sell those products to us how will we know we need mm. models you know yeah. and personally being in the modeling industry and not just content creation how will people know if you don't advertise the briefs the boxers what not so yeah. that's not the issue let's let's be very let's be guided you know so that we don't go uh, talking uh, subjectively mm-hmm. because now if you say that this is nakedness no no just don't follow that page who forced you to follow that page you know mm. and you when you're going to buy you want to see a model who looks nice in a certain maybe bra and then you want to see how they look then you want to also uh, see that and weigh your options be like do I like this company no I don't like how they look how will you ever know that if all content to use and no no, no one has forced you imagine just and follow or don't follow those pages yeah. you go imagining how you can buy your undergarments without you know really focusing without too for, much yeah that. and then also um um like you've said um about um what's that final final It was about if you want to change your direction. If you want Let's to oh, it's a lady. Okay. There was a story that came up a few months years ago, mm-hmm. sometime last year, yeah. about a lady who used to be very popular on Covid Radio. There was Covid Radio by a popular socialite back then on Instagram mm-hmm. and she would post, she would oh, be God. there constantly probably naked because at a siku one did the kind of content alikuwa but most likely naked mm-hmm. and doing things that were considered mm. sexual uh-huh. and then later on mm. she realized i want to be a wife i want to, to maybe, maybe change the direction life. of mm-hmm. my brand mm-hmm. naika shindikana because people still associate her with the past yeah. so how do you move away from that mm-hmm. identity particularly see mm-hmm. when you are post maybe for lingerie mm-hmm. nini yeah. these people particularly who are were naked to say maybe what were only fans or something who do something that's maybe sexual mm-hmm. first of all um life is dynamic no human being and life is not static 
no human being is static. You're not stuck, you're not in one place. People change all the time. So from the ones who are viewing, understand that, like she's saying, just, just educate yourself on how life is. People change, people grow. even you yourself, you're not, you're not staying in one yeah, place. You're not the change. same person. If we were to gauge you from what you did 10, 15 years ago or 30 years ago, things that we don't even know about, you'd be like cameras off, like guys that I'm so Please. embarrassed about that, you know? Yeah. So let's not, you know, I always say, people judge people in the limelight just because the camera is pointing at them. The camera hasn't pointed to you because yeah. the one day the lights and the camera will be on you and all the dirt will come out. Yeah. So never judge just because the camera hasn't been pointed to you. Not because yeah. you're clean, not because you're doing anything special, but just because the camera hasn't turned to you. Then for the ones who are in the limelight who are doing content creation, celebrities, influencers, understand that people don't love you. <laughs> they, they probably just love you, the brand. Mm -hmm. There's like three, four people who genuinely love you and mm -hmm. will grow with you and will understand your journeys and will cheer you and will never judge you everyone else is here to consume content they're here to it's like um it's a it's a very dangerous field like i yeah. said people are here watching what you're doing they the, you do anything small it's they're here for the entertainment so and you that, stop. that happens a yeah. lot because yeah. i personally don't have so many followers Mm -hmm. But I know for sure mm -hmm. that people will never be on my stories. Mm -hmm. And they'll never comment, Ati, oh, congratulations, yeah. this has happened. Nothing. This is not, no. They follow every single thing you do. They're yeah. the first ones to hit that uh, story or status, but, but they will never say anything. So understand that people don't love you. They're here for the entertainment. They're here to, yeah. to know the, the things to that are happening in your life, especially if you're the one who's sharing a lot. So careful with that. Every time you're going into that, like famous space or you're trying to put yourself out there please p have that in mind and i that feel like people that can can bring us tie me to the next conversation which i want to talk about mental health mm. because so many people are suffering yeah so many people get depressed mm -hmm. they break down either the the recipients of the uh content that is being created mm -hmm. or the ones who are creating the content mm -hmm. so trophy could you tell us about perhaps from the perspective of someone who's creating content mm -hmm. and they receive all this criticism mm -hmm. every other time they hear kunot water praise kunot water communicate visually but most of the times it's like so you may vaji so you may shake in a so could you tell us how do you for your mental health how can you maybe move through the digital space yeah as to better say it never take people's praises of you to heart. Don't let criticism get to your heart. Don't let compliments get to your head. You're only as good as your story right now. Kesho, okay, trend. They will crucify you, they will persecute you. So one thing about putting yourself out there, just realize you're being vulnerable. And there are things that are associated with that. Make peace with it. It comes both ways. So when someone criticizes you, always remember, nobody pulls someone down unless they're under you. You'll never find someone up trying to push you down. It's always the one who's down, pulling you down. Yeah. Just remember that. And then if it gets overwhelming, just get out of social media for some time. Yeah. It's not a matter of life and death. Just get out of social media for some time. And when, with respect to mental health and what you'd ask Jebet about, the naked photos and everything, just remember the internet never forgets. I love one thing, uh, the socialites who started this will never tell you. How do these photos translate to money? You know, there's that aspect people never discuss. Yeah. So the young girls are like, no, 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 I'm, I'm after school, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting a, a naked photo. Then yeah. where's the money coming from? Make it make sense. So they need to understand that because they'd be under pressure. But I'm, I'm also nude. I'm also doing these photos. Why yeah. is it not bringing money? It is because there are a lot of things behind the scenes nobody will ever tell you. That's true. No, no. It is, yeah. not, it is not a matter of life and death. Social media is there. You found it. It will always be there. There will always be a better platform and another one and another one and another one. Mm, mm. That's very true because mm. the people who that's their brand identity, they their lingerie mm -hmm. models, mm -hmm. the people who have been doing that, mm -hmm. they're photographers who just do shoots of people who are naked and it's artistic. Mm -hmm. So you have to really understand why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Where am I going with this? Mm. Even so Kim Kardashian changed. She's now a lawyer. She's now uh, the naked thing in Asia. She's, so a, business she's a business woman. And you see, well, even in Kenya, last. we have a very clear mm -hmm. example. We have like Vera Sidika. Mm. Started as a vixen and was popular for that. But oh, then yes. she rebranded going forward. And mm -hmm. right now, people respect her mm -hmm. as an entity. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for you to understand where you're going and what direction you want to take it. True. So uh, I want to... We got a comment briefly. Mm -hmm. My phone, unfortunately, went off. But mm -hmm. it was a comment, I believe, from Twitter, which mm -hmm. is now X. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finding it hard sometimes. X. Me too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the comment was on uh, Sipendi watu kukuja kukatiana chini ya post zangu. 
and that happens really you know realistically that happens so perhaps you can trophy i can start with you maybe give me some comments on that briefly as you tie it with your your final thoughts sindio tafadhali watu katiana let them be like mm. personally i don't take these things too seriously yeah yeah because even whoever wana katiana hapo perhaps there will actually be some wedding later so do, don't don't kill the joy and as a wrap it up i'll say this the internet never forgets and if you cannot tell someone something in person don't write it online yeah. if you cannot say it in person ukikutana naye hivi don't write it online it is just basic manners and i hope we had time we to even cover the social media etiquette of even giving breaking news in terms of death you know yeah. that is something very important what is crazy breaking news one some someone has died people are like and it's like a competition to share nani yeah. kwa kwanza ku break news even the photos even and the images videos everything even of people who are mourning like remember kevin kiptoon's family someone is just sharing the father breaking down like who does that yeah. was there an award or something for that yeah. that social media etiquette yeah. is there an award for that and there, there really isn't, isn't. Uh-huh. um chebet could you give us your thoughts on that and she's brought some another interesting aspect when you're in time when you meet we share let's talk about your breaking fake news because fake news iko social media mm-hmm. so tell us briefly in probably under 90 seconds mm-hmm. what do you think about watu kukatia na chini ya posts zako are people getting connections like that mm. and breaking sensitive news First of all I don't mind like you said imagine don't take it seriously let people enjoy as long as they're not fighting in there or they're not if you're fighting now take that nonsense to another place yeah. but if they're doing nice things they're talking they are giving you nice suggestions they're katianaing let people be it's not that yeah. serious then um about um breaking fake news please always confirm your sources first mm. and then break in a way that is very respectful and very considerate of the person there's no competition it's just yeah. it's just that sometimes we want to share the news all of us like yeah. you know but then let's do it in a way that really really uh-huh. um doesn't and injure those people and then finally i just want to say um social media three things first of all under so 30 sh- seconds social media is not yeah. a real place please mm-hmm. it's a real place but it's not a real place yeah. and keep that in mind number two, social media is an illusion what people are showing you mm. is nothing compared to what they're going through mm. they could be showing you 10% of their joy there's a 90% you know nothing about or yeah. their money their riches mm. they could be showing you 10% of what the other side the negative side they're going through the hardest time but there there's another 90% you know nothing about yeah. keep that in mind thank, thank you thank you so much i think that really sums it up first of all don't take it too seriously yes mm. be sensitive be considerate of the other person because ni wanadamu ni wenye tu tuko kwa screen it's human beings imagine so be very sensitive detach yourself from some of these comments and take social media breaks because sometimes it can get really overwhelming take breaks especially if your content creators if your celebrities or socialites on the platforms if we when you consumer be very sensitive you have to understand this is a human being with a life of their own if you do not resonate with what they're saying if you do not like the, the content and follow them Mm. block and follow no one is forcing you to consume their com- content and i think that is it for today it's been a very wonderful show mm-hmm. i know we have so much left but we will have this conversation i want you to also continue this on social media and eleni kunembe vitu gani zina wabo and how you can be more sensitive on social media thank you to every single person on our production team and timothy a very amazing producer it has been a wonderful show and i hope you stick to y254 tv a repeat of this will air tomorrow between 1 and 2 pm and we'll also have this on youtube so please check out our pages and please stick to y254 tv i'll see you next time at the same time same place